And Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders isn't the only one to comment on the deal. The White House has as well just days after the Treasury Department tightened rules on these inversion deals. Eamon Javers takes a look at the reaction from Washington. Democrats were quick to criticize the massive pharmaceutical deal on Monday, blasting Pfizer for renouncing its corporate citizenship and calling on Congress to take action to stop so-called inversion deals. The president said it's not fair uh, for, country, for companies to essentially renounce their citizenship, uh, seek to, at least on paper, locate themselves uh, somewhere else just so they can pay a lower tax rate. That certainly is not the kind of benefit that's available to middle class families. On the campaign trail, Hillary Clinton weighed in, saying, I urge Congress to act immediately to make sure the biggest corporations pay their fair share and regulators also should look hard at stronger actions they can take to stop companies from shifting earnings overseas. But Republicans see this as a very different discussion about onerous business taxes forcing businesses to do what they can to protect themselves. House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Kevin Brady said the time has come to lower business tax rates so companies won't be forced into inversions. He said, let's stop the political hand-wringing and get to work creating a U.S. tax code that's built for growth. That means lower globally competitive business rates that allow overseas profits to easily flow back into America. Despite the red-hot rhetoric on Monday, though, the chances for any kind of tax reform on Capitol Hill are slim as Washington is increasingly gridlocked by election year politics. Republicans who control Capitol Hill want to wait to see if they can take control of the White House before making policy changes. And that means it may be 2017 before anything, if at all, is done about inversions. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eamon Javers in Washington.